ಡೈಜಿ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವಾಹಿನಿಯ ಎಲ್ಲ ವೀಕ್ಷಕರಿಗೆ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಹಾಗೂ ಶುಭ ಸಂಜೆ ಮಾರ್ಗದರ್ಶಿ ದ ಎಜು ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದ ಹತ್ತೊಂಬತ್ತನೇ ಎಪಿಸೋಡಿಗೆ ತಮಗೆ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಸ್ವಾಗತಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿರುವ ಹಾಗೆ ಕಳೆದ ಮಾರ್ಚ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತ್ರಿಷಾ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಉಡುಪಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಡೈಜಿ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸಹಭಾಗಿತ್ವದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಮಾರ್ಗದರ್ಶಿ ಅನ್ನೋ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ಲಾಂಚ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಮುಖ್ಯವಾಗಿ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಕರಿಯರ್ ಗೈಡೆನ್ಸ್ ನೀಡುವಂಥ ಒಂದು ನಿಟ್ಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಸುಮಾರು ಹದಿನೆಂಟು ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ಫುಲಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಿಸೀವ್ಡ್ ಫ್ಯಾಂಟ್ರಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ಅಗೇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹವ್ ರಿಸೀವ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಹವ್ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ನಾಟ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಅಥವಾ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಾಲಿಟಿ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಕಲ್ನರಿ ಆರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಟೂರಿಸಮ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಕು ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಬೆಟರ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಶೆಫ್ ತಿರು ದ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಶಾ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಗ್ರಾಜ್ಯುಯೇಟ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮಾಹೆ ಮಣಿಪಾಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪಸ್ ಆನ್ ಬಿಹಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವ್ಯೂವರ್ಸ್ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಅ ವಾಮ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಯೂ ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಗುರು ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಜರ್ನಿ ಆಫ್ ಯೋರ್ಸ್ was yeah. your entry into this industry was an yes. accident or by a choice today you are heading one of the finest institution of india all right uh, thank you uh, first and foremost uh, um, i would like to thank daiji world for giving me this opportunity to interact with you and um, let me you know to share my journey um, it was you know i didn't plan anything on uh, when when i was choosing this uh, hotel management Mm-hmm. I actually wanted to be a textile engineer. So I am uh. from Coimbatore. So you know, those of you know that uh, Coimbatore is called, you know, South India's Manchester because mm-hmm. we used to have uh, more than 21 national textile mills that oh. point of time. And uh, so always fascinated to see that in and around where I have grown up and a lot of textile mills in and around and I always want to see that whichever program I do and I should have employment opportunity. So on that note so i was decided that okay i want to go into you know textile particularly on dyeing that so that you know dyeing industry the coloring and whatever they give for yarn so i thought okay let me do my biochemistry and understand how you know uh, the chem, you know the dyeing industry works and then after that post which that i want to do the textile engineering so that's what my plan so but uh, unfortunately i could not get biochemistry because i was having shortage of two marks in aggregate Just two I, marks. Yeah, two <laughs> marks because uh, physics and uh, chemistry mm-hmm. and then mathematics you should have 180 all put together. Okay. So, but what happened that I got only, you know, 178. So, on that I could not get biochemistry. Then what is option next? So, I landed up doing nutrition, food service management and dietetics. So, started with nutrition, food service management, dietetics and then, okay, uh, during that uh, time you know we had an option to do two internship one with hotel industry another one is with uh, hospital so i had done two internship and then post which that i decided okay i'm no passionate to hotel okay i don't want to go to hospital side because i'm little bit of you know get emotionally disturbed and seeing people suffering okay. mm-hmm. from various diseases okay so i thought okay let me take it up uh, you know uh, my further career or hotel management so then i completed my graduation then went to ihm chennai and did my uh, hotel management and subsequently started working with taj and my dream was to get into <coughs> kitchen so mm-hmm. i got into uh, hotel operation management trainee program with taj group of hotels and worked there for six and a half years and uh, reached up to you know shab you know shab the party then post which that uh you know due to my personal commitments i quit taj and came to coimbatore i was with my family with my mom and uh, then i was doing something which is what i learned in uh, you know graduation time and uh, ventured into uh, mango pulp based drink which is uh-huh. we used to supply in and around uh, three districts of coimbatore and um, so that was you know two years Mm-hmm. then again i was waiting for some opportunity to get to hotels to come <coughs> in uh, <coughs> coimbatore so mm-hmm. i joined in residency as a pre opening team as a junior sous chef worked for a year then i you know one point of time that you know the industry is hectic schedule and then some point of time i also thought that you know during my um, residency or a taj and i used to always you know uh, try to interact with the tr
So I had little bit passion about sharing knowledge with the team, which you know the youngsters when you come in hotel. Yeah. So on that note, I taken you know okay. teaching job, mm -hmm. came to Saptagiri College of Hotel Management in Mangalore. Okay. So I was handling food production. Then Vaksha, I joined in 2000. There now I'm as a principal, in, and this is a very wonderful journey. And uh, so I'm still learning. And lifelong, you know, as in whatever experience, whatever which you have, uh, you know, achieved in academics, but still every day you learn. A bit about your institute, sir, because uh, yeah. I am aware that it's the number one institute when it comes to the courses in the hotel management. Could you share some thoughts on that? Yes. Um, see, uh, if you look at Vaksha today, what we are today, mm -hmm. um, we are, you know, ranked by various agencies like India Today, The Week and Outlook. And we are there always overall rank number two mm -hmm. and uh, among private institute we are number one mm -hmm. and there is a other agency called GHRDC. Mm -hmm. They ranked Supreme Hotel Management College in India okay. and besides also we do have a world ranking mm -hmm. and uh, we are now 46th in world ranking. Fantastic. And um, talking about Vaksha's USP, why Vaksha is so special, mm -hmm. why it stand out from rest of the hotel management college. Mm -hmm. Because Vaksha, uh, number one, it was the first private college and first college to start a degree program in hotel management education. Is it? Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. way back in 1986. Lovely. So, um, you know, till then the hotel management education was considered to be a, a vocational course. Mm -hmm. The highest qualification is diploma. Okay. So, but Vaksha was the first college to start degree program in the country. Oh. The second is that Vaksha was the first college to collaborate with industry academia um, collaboration, which was with ITC hotels. Great. So, the visionary behind you know how this collaboration came into uh, you know uh, limelight because uh, Dr. Ramdas Sempai, right. our Chancellor Manipal Academy of Higher Education. Mm -hmm and uh, former chairman late Mr. Y.C. Deveshwar, okay. these two visionary leaders came and discussed and then they said they know to strengthen hospitality education in the country and they have signed an agreement for 50 years, think about 1986, today we completed 36 years, Fantastic. we are going to move on this year, uh, you know 23 we will move on to 37th year. So, Wonderful. imagine that uh, the trust which you know the was built those point of time you know between the two visionaries great signed agreement for 50 years and still it's going strong and i'm sure that it will be signed for next 50 more years fantastic and uh, these two visionaries are basically worked for the nation building i know you know india has tremendous potential for tourism great so how do you um, you know go into international visibility because you need a workforce so that was a aim to bring industry academia collaboration and ITC being is a pioneer and put India's first and you see all our hotels we focus more on in Indian tradition and culture. Mm -hmm. You go to any hotel like Grand Chola, you go to uh, Grand Bharat uh, in Delhi, Grand Chola in Chennai, it reflect on the local tradition, the culture. Yeah, tradition mm -hmm. and the legacy. So that's what we could offer to the visitors. Fantastic. I mean, this institute has also produced a lot of the finest chefs in the world, I mean, the celebrity chefs. Yes, uh, you know, to you know, uh, most of them knows that about our alumni worldwide right. network. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, uh, to name few, um, I could say that, you know, Chef Vikas Kanna right. and Chef Hari Naik, who's mm -hmm. from this, this hometown, mm -hmm. Chef Girish Naik, very much, you know, currently is doing extraordinary thing uh, in terms of Indian Mithais. Right. So, uh, apart from that, if you see that our own, uh, you know, company ITC, I work for ITC mm -hmm. and our, um, you know, CEO of ITC hotels from Baksha, mm -hmm. he's from second batch, Mr. Anil Chadda. Okay. So, I can go on and on, yes. but, you know, uh, rest of the alumni, whatever we are today is because of our alumni, alumni strength so. and their contribution to this institute. How does the feel when you are heading such a beautiful institution? Yes, uh, you know, I am always, um, you know, when I walk into, uh, you know, our, my office, I always think what I can do differently, uh -huh. you know, uh, I do not want to repeat a job. Right. So, every day I put students as first my focus, uh -huh. because as an 
uh, head of the institute, mm -hmm. I am responsible for, you know, industry connect, mm -hmm. academic excellence and uh, placements and alumni engagement and research and innovation and uh, also, you know, getting, you know, stakeholders, you know, I need to take care of the stakeholders, okay. including students, parents and industry professionals. So, it is very, uh, you know, great experience. Right. I am every day learning and um, of course, there is always reaching top is fine, but uh, you being sustaining is that, Absolutely. you know, you need to work on yes. day to day and a uh, lot of uh, planning required, strategic planning and uh, with my team and uh, I am able to achieve what we are today. Fantastic, sir. Thank you. Uh, as I said uh, in my introductory remarks, uh, this particular topic was a request from the parents okay. who called and said, you know, why can't you have a discussion on this? Thank you. Sir. So, I am very sure that there are a lot of students aspiring to get into this industry is looking into. Uh, let us begin with this sector, sir. All right. How do you rate this sector in India as well as globally? If you uh, look, uh, you know, currently, you know, mm -hmm. let us not talk about what happened in the post-COVID mm -hmm. or pre-COVID. You know, uh, with my experience and there are so many legends who have worked in this travel and tourism and right. culinary industry, mm -hmm. we all witnessed that the tremendous growth in what we are today. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, every, um, uh, every uh, time there are some challenges do come, mm -hmm. we talk about, uh, you know, recession or 9-11 um, uh, or whatever. Mm -hmm. but industry every right. time when bounce back it comes with a di the entire dynamics is a different so that lots of changes has been you could witness <coughs> over the years right and it continued to happen and the <coughs> students who are aspiring to become a you know, hotelier and it's i think it's a right industry for them because this is so only one industry which the skill sets are transferable to any other service industry. Great. So, that is the reason if you see that our alumni, most of them are doing extremely well even in allied industry as well. Right. Besides. So, talking about currently travel, tourism, hospitality industry, mm -hmm. it is doing fantastic job and we need lot of people, talented people to take it forward mm -hmm. and um, Still, uh, there will be a lot of changes will come and I am sure that the young minds who wants to aspiring to become leaders in this industry, we have a great uh, chance and great future ahead. And uh, how do you rate this at the global level? Global level because you see most of that, uh, you know, uh, I am talking about uh, to context to our nation uh -huh. and you look at that uh, what we did in the past. 20 years to boost tourism, mm -hmm. right? We are pitching for, you know, to be in the best in the tourism sector as well. True. So, India is known for IT and uh, so many manufacturing sectors, exactly. but uh, every state government making an effort to attract, tourism. you know, the tourists. Right. So, um, as far as, um, the, you know, you know that uh, India is the large country and with population still we are, um, going to you know be become an international destination and for unknown t tourist destination as well currently people knows about what is that you know the f uh, most popular tourist destination across the state correct but now what happened to digital space and technology mm -hmm. and we are taking people through virtual tour on True. lesser known tourist destination as well as correct. so um, we are doing uh, you know amazing job i'm sure that uh, the you know we contribute almost close to nine uh, percent GDP uh, GDP of this country mm -hmm. travel and tourism sector. That's a fantastic so uh, Yeah, so I'm definitely that uh, the students who want to become a leader, uh, aspiring people, and they have great uh, opportunities to yes. prove themselves. Uh, some countries, you know, whose maximum revenue come from the tourism. Yes. Uh, say for example, Indonesia or Thailand. They had a big jolt uh, during the COVID times. Of okay. course, you said you won't talk about COVID yes. scenarios, but uh, you think those countries can bounce back in the coming years? Already, days? already we are witnessing because uh, we do have a lot of our alumni working in, um, you know, various, um, you know, uh, portfolios mm -hmm. in uh, different countries. And uh, we constantly interact and of course, uh, our, uh, you know, my friends who is working in uh, different parts of the world, 
we are witnessing and uh, things are coming back and people uh, you know want to experience something new and that's what I said that the entire business dynamics have changed the customer preference has changed True. and uh, talking about health and safety has taken into different level mm -hmm. and uh, so uh, um, the only thing we need a talent <coughs> pool I so know. that's what every industry leaders look for uh, when talking about travel tourism hospitality so you feel it India as well as global level there's still there's a huge demand for I the was just mentioning youngsters. while before we started this conversation that we, I myself went for a refresher training two weeks back mm -hmm. to ITC Grand Chola mm -hmm. you know um, the rooms occupancies are you know hundred percent wow and uh, all the outlets are full <coughs> so what it's indicated it's not right. only you know pertaining to Chennai city mm -hmm. but across all our you know uh, travel tourism industry extremely doing well and you just it's going to be a long weekend now and you look at into any booking sites you see that mm -hmm. there you know everywhere it's full True. you know so uh, I'm sure that uh, nobody is going to stop traveling True. and uh, irrespective of whatever challenges we face no recession no uh, viruses can stop <laughs> no, no. I think uh, Maybe it's we are, a temporary we are stops. every time whenever something comes uh, challenging us and we are devising something, how to solve that those problems True. and that's the human nature. So, it will continue. So, now let us get back to the economics part of it because a lot of my students who have completed their 12th standard now and uh, some of them might have already joined this institution. Yeah. Some of them definitely still in the confusion as to what exactly this uh, you know industry and uh, the future is all about. So, what are the courses that are available in hotel administration or hospitality or uh, tourism at the UG level, sir? Yeah. So, uh, generally, you talk about uh, undergraduate uh, program. There are some institute of a three-year program, some institute of a four-year program. Okay. And um, so. If you see that across <coughs> India, the listed colleges around more than 1,250 colleges, wow. which okay. is listed. Okay. And then on an average in a year, almost close to more than uh, 45,000 students graduate. Uh -huh. Okay. And um, now, uh, if you, I want to talk about specifically to Welcome Group Graduate School of Hotel Administration. Mm -hmm. We offer uh, uh, two undergraduate programs and three postgraduate programs. And our flagship program is Bachelor of Hotel Management and then we offer that's four year program mm -hmm. and then uh, it's affiliated with the AICT okay. and uh, second undergraduate program uh, BA in Culinary Arts okay. which is uh, recognized by UGC okay. that's a three year program. Now what is different between BHM and BA Culinary Arts? Mm -hmm. So you know BHM we were the first college in India to offer a degree program in the country. BHM is Bachelor in Hotel Management. Hotel Management. Okay. And uh, so it's a four-year program okay. affiliated to AICT. Okay. Now most of the students, you know, they get <coughs> confused difference between BHM and BA Culinary okay. Arts. And there are some other colleges also offering this program. Mm -hmm. So now, student who wants to, you know, choose hospitality line. So if they have any confusion regarding which course I am supposed to do, and uh, somebody who is very uh, highly, you know, passionate about the cooking. And they should choose on BA Culinary Arts. Okay. But what we do in BHM, BHM also, uh, you know, you have subject on food production. And uh, besides that, you will be learning a front office, housekeeping, and F&B service. But where in BA Culinary Arts, you will do exclusively on more on cuisine part, and as well as you do service part, right? So our intake is uh, BHM is 180 students and the BA Culinary Arts is 180 students okay. and uh, we are having the best state of art facility Great. to support to you know achieve our academic excellence and as well as our faculty strength mm -hmm. is the highest number in terms of if you look at any hospitality uh, colleges in India uh, we have highest number of full time faculty you compare with student faculty ratio we have close to about 15 to 1. Lovely. Yes. And uh, then other three masters program, uh, we launched 2020 uh, master of hotel management. That is uh, the reason which we launched uh, because <coughs> um, you know we did feasibility study and uh, whenever we launch new program, we always look into what is the employment opportunities <coughs> for the students who take up that program. What is the duration? Uh, that is a two year two and four semesters. Okay. And uh, so 
that program students can specialize sales and marketing okay. or revenue management two oh, streams okay. mm -hmm. so they can opt any one so it's purely on hotel sales and marketing as well as hotel revenue, revenue management. management then uh, 2021 we launched ma indian cuisine and food culture oh. now if you look at you know it's one of its both these masters program are unique in nature because um, no other universities or no other college offering this kind of program. <coughs> there are some colleges offering master's program which is um, you know the, the aims and objectives are different. Okay. But where in our program we specializing in revenue management and sales and marketing specific to hotel industry. MA Indian cuisine it is um, you know uh, something which um, nobody is offering in the country as on date now mm -hmm. and uh, if you look at the, the entire uh, course content and the syllabus which is we deliver in a block syllabus model okay. and those of them who is in academic setup they know that what is block, block syllabus. syllabus instead of week the semester we go into 16 weeks right. pattern here you go into block syllabus so each and every subject is taught in day wise so you day 1 day 2 day 3 day 4 for 18 days 3 mm. weeks so uh, students at the end of 18th day they will know that you know their um, academic performance and uh, they will uh, you know be moving to the next block that's how we design great and uh, another master program is msc dietetics and applied nutrition it's one of the you know best dietetics program in the country we launched in 2011 so that is uh, you know uh, the reason which we launched that you know there is a lot of demand on nutrition clinical nutrition side so that is and if you look at that our academic setup we were the only college to have a training hotel attached uh, exactly when we started you know in the country uh, today very few colleges have but the advantage is that the students get hands on practice. That is very vital. Yeah. How uh, a pharmaceutical have attached to the hospital. Yes. It is very essential for a uh, hotel to have a hotel. Students. So, right. that is the reason we uh, uh, you know uh, put our students for on the job training. So, is there anything like internship for the students during that time? They do during their um, academic stint they have to do on the job training. Okay. Which is attached to our training hotel. Great. Similarly, dietetic students they do in you know on the job training in hospital. So, okay. what you you know uh, discuss in classroom, <coughs> you are able to connect to in real time experience. True. So, that is the great strength of our institute. Absolutely. So, on generally specifically the students who aspiring to become you know the chef or general manager or a revenue manager or sales and marketing manager mm -hmm. and uh, the program is some colleges offer three year program, some colleges offer four year program, mm -hmm. but by and large uh, except national council mm -hmm. that is uh, NHM CT, uh, they do uh, you know uh, admission on uh, JE, mm -hmm. okay. the students go for a joint entrance examination that has been uh, already <coughs> completed and the admissions also started. Um, started and it is almost in the third round of you know Great. Uh, stage and it will be closed by end of this uh, uh, maybe probably within a week. Great. But other universities still admissions are open mm -hmm. and uh, our program specifically yeah, still we admissions are open and uh, how do the selection process happen generally uh, students have to give online written examination and uh, then they will take you know uh, the score of online entrance examination. And then they will call for the you know their shortlist. I'm talking about the uh, public sector uh, okay. hotel management colleges. So then they shortlist and based on the score they will give the top uh, institution. Mm -hmm. But as far as our uh, admission process is concerned, we do remote proctor exam and uh, students have to give online examination. Mm -hmm. Then we do conduct online interviews Very good. and then we take score of uh, proctor exam and online interview and uh, then we will make merit list. So, getting into the top institution is not easy? Yes, of course, uh, we easy. look for a profiling, we look for a, uh, attributes uh, you know because it is important for us to select the best and and, uh, and give it back to industry. Industry, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So, what do the students do after this uh, completion of their UG course? Whether they are up for a job 
or nowadays you have even launched uh, many of uh, the master's program. program or how do you advise is it advisable to get into master's program immediately or take a break work for two years and then get into that yes uh, no um, my always personal advice would be students should focus on acquiring the skill sets foundation skill sets okay. because in our uh, hospitality <coughs> or a culinary program we do uh, have various uh, you know specific skills, skills requirement for the mm -hmm. different operational departments like you know you as a guest when you go to hotel mm -hmm. um, you know the core departments are food production housekeeping mm -hmm. front office and fnb service okay so these four core areas besides that to support other Op non operational departments like sales and marketing mm -hmm. and uh, you have revenue management and then you do have you know uh, finance right and uh, so there are so many uh, you know options students can have yeah. but as a student whether it's a 3 year program or a 4 year program you are supposed to focus on your foundation skill set that's and vital it could you know give lot of you know confidence for you to when you move gradually to third year and fourth year mm -hmm. and prior to that you will have <coughs> one internship okay right a mandatory internship you must do minimum of 16 weeks some okay. institutes whereas we make uh, you know 24 weeks internship okay. that 6 months internship mm -hmm. so in that time you will be able to connect very well that uh, are you made for the specifically where when you as a student is sitting in classroom and attending various theory sessions and practicals when you get on to industry you will know that okay so what is it most apt for you right with that you will be able to relate to choose career options true so my advice always would be do your undergraduate program and get your hands dirty work for one or two years fantastic then you proceed for higher studies higher studies is very important mm -hmm. and you should do it in a reputed institute true but having some experience and then going for a further higher education it's always fetch you the great mileage when you seek job after post graduation true fantastic the uh, common questions that come across to any academicians i am sure you might you might have also faced it when the parents come to you what is the placement opportunities after this and yes. what's the average package your students have got before now if i can put across the same question to you yes it's always as parent when they <laughs> walk into my office they always ask about that's the first question first question about one is higher study second True. about internship third about most important thing placement placements see um, as far as waksha is concerned <coughs> you know we created a landmark in hospitality and mm -hmm. travel tourism culinary uh, industry and um, you know Uh, to vouch for that our alumni worldwide network will you know uh, speak for you know what kind of portfolio and vertical they are heading true so the placements uh, there are amazing opportunity for students to you know get into various hotel chain see if you talk about the past and present and future uh, the 20 years back not many foreign hotel chains were there in india today you name anything uh, in city like bangalore will you believe that there will be close to 58 hotels which is in a five star you know starting from four star starting range category to five star luxury hotels so why these many hotels are coming up i'm just giving in one example because the demand is so much mm -hmm. now where do we get workforce we get from the reputed institute True. right and they want the right talent so placement as far as placement is concerned it's not only in hotels they do have opportunity to work with other that's what in the beginning of my conversation i mentioned that this is a only one academic you know setup the skill sets are transferable to any services industry it could be a banking it could be a real estate you see some of our alumni are heading you know real estate companies okay some of our alumni are heading you know banks why hotel management students banks. because they know that what is the customer they want right. but of course there are some uh, the technical thing which they have to learn to pertaining to what which domain they are working but of course they will learn but they know how to present themselves they know how to work they know how to talk because we groom them in such a way the most presentable and also how the moment of truth when you engage conversation with 
any the you know the first time conversation <coughs> how i am going to convince exactly. you know them to you know believe me true so uh, placements uh, the tremendous opportunity and if you look at the ranking whenever students are looking for which institute has to you know they have to uh, you know of course there are various it's open in the public domain it's in the digital form it's in the hard form you can see that various ranking agencies how do they rank what are the criteria if you look at particularly vaksha we always score higher right and why because the brand value and also the students which you know um, the way they been you know nurtured in the college and also the confidence level with our students great um there is another trend which is happening today that students do wish to pursue their higher education abroad yes um waksha and manipal as a group also has lot of collaborations outside yes uh, i'm sure you had traveled some other countries and found out about the uh, the similar courses available outside uh, how do you rate this courses when it comes to international uh, reputation yes see uh, our one of the strategic pillar is you know internationalization right. mahe strategic pillar mm-hmm. so every institute has to work out what is the further scope for the students who are opting any program okay so on that note waksha currently we have collaboration with six universities this lot um and um, you know it's all one of the top universities right. we do have options for students to do pathway program mm-hmm. and also uh, students can take credits and then move uh, to you know masters program okay. in uh, our partner universities that's great so normally what we do when the students come to uh, third year when they before they move to fourth year we apprise them about what is that which somebody you know we sent out note to all the students who are interested to pursue higher studies with our partner university so we get them to you know our partner university representative to interact with our students what is in it for them and what kind of you know course that what is the employment opportunity so which all will be you know discussed and uh, sometimes we invite parents also to be part of it because um after covid everything become online anywhere anytime True. we can connect Absolutely. so it become more easy to connect them through virtually mm-hmm. and then clarify one to one whatever there so it become more easy and then uh, students also have an opportunity to um, you know uh, take up our partner university program without any much hassle because the entire process will become easy mm-hmm. and we want our students to go through that you know uh, you know on a easy way so that they will not have any hassles to Great. you know get admissions fantastic uh, i'm sure sir unlike any other course marks play a very important role i don't agree with fully but anyways academic records are equally important but i'm definitely uh, i'm unsure whether it's the same scenario here i don't think so that anyone any placement company would look for a mark how much you have scored rather than they look at the skill sets and your quality of approach like how you have gained in the last yes, couple well, of years good questions because students always you know think um, you know uh, what i am going to get it you know mm-hmm. if i am in a top it's at the end of it marks also important okay. i'm not saying that it's you know you or average performer but you get into that but ultimately whatever marks you score you have to vouch <coughs> for that when you present yourself to the recruiters mm-hmm. so every company has a different kind of profiling uh, you know uh, there so many hotel chains currently now when you talk about uh, our own company itc we have a different requirements mm-hmm. when we hire young talent as a future leaders for our company okay there are other companies like you know taj and obroise and marriott and then hyatt and accor every company has a different profiling that's why always i tell my students that you should you know when you move to right from the first year mm-hmm. you should see that i for detail who are all your senior getting selected to you know leading hotel chains why they getting selected there what is in it for them so always it's you know you have to be street smart but with requisite knowledge and skill set it's all about most of the hotel chains look for an attitude so your soft skill is Correct. very important very important Correct. yes and though you may have you know uh, more than 9 cgpa but you don't know Lack how to present soft yourself and if you're not focusing on your soft skill aspect mm-hmm. and probably you may miss out something so Sir. 
<coughs> it is very important for um, you know hospitality students should you know balance their skill set knowledge and the soft skill aspects yes and i'm sure uh, these courses what you have launched at your uh, institute uh, they do come up with lot of soft skill training yes yes because we uh, within syllabus we integrated many soft skill aspects mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, subject okay. and um, you know we ensure that students right from the day one we mold them to according to the industry requirements mm -hmm. so that is uh, taken care right and um, we give lot of emphasis on uh, you know uh, soft skill aspects uh, and improve their skill sets True. as well as how to uh, recollect what they learnt in first and second year when they go to the senior uh, you know that True. third year and fourth year what they learnt in first year so we have a different mechanism to recollect back to basics fantastic yeah so how is the attrition rate in this industry you know see uh, uh, things are evolving there's so much uh, uh, opportunities and lot of avenue new avenues new i do hear avenues. it's really a pressure some job is it true yes um, of course uh, you know once people start liking any mm -hmm. job it's today is nothing you know you true. can say that stress free job true. there's nothing but like everybody that. work on wow footing to you know ensure that customer satisfaction and uh, you know achieving uh, you know profit in ethical way mm -hmm. so it's always the demand is so high and uh, as far as attrition rate is uh, actually if you see that um, it's on and off it's going up and down you know okay. depending upon the trends mm -hmm. for example now if you look into current scenario because there are something major sporting event is coming up in qatar true the fifa the world, cup. World, world cup so if you look at that you know those you know the host nation is mm -hmm. trying to get as huge preparation talent. already going on ah so you never know what's going to come next true so they are trying to take as many as on a contractual basis mm -hmm. so generally attrition rate yes it is there mm -hmm. but as an aspiring hotel professional one must give at least minimum 2 to 3 years in one hotel chain mm -hmm. so true because um first quarter of your life you are going to learn understand what is it which they are you know demanding you then the second quarter you will okay start delivering it third quarter you will you know have to you know make sure that you will you know sharpen your skill set the fourth quarter is a time which come independently you land true the problem is that now what we are facing that the young minds not having i'm not complaining because but the start i know uh, their expectation True. and then they see that there is some gap between <coughs> our expectation and industry requirements so that's why the attrition rate right. but definitely the people who continue to work in industry industry <coughs> is taking care right. there's no doubt about it right so we have come to the fag end of the uh, program and uh, i would like to know your views on where do you see this industry in next 5 years 10 years down the line it's very difficult to predict because uh -huh. the uh, the way which getting you know every department uh, you know over a period <coughs> of time uh, you know if you see that the changes what brought in mm -hmm. and um, it's very difficult to predict but however there is you know so much scope is there within this industry okay. today uh, different vertical has been started and um, you know people who have put you know some of the hotel chain will may come out you know senior management you know how are you going to maybe the hotels for future for all the senior management you know uh, or the senior citizen who are uh, having the special you know requirements mm -hmm. there a lot of changes has been coming so mm -hmm. uh um, different avenues are getting open and uh, we before covid no hotel uh, five star hotel would have not dreamed about starting you know uh, online True. you know uh, we have moved to cloud kitchen version True. right and we started online delivery True. and then we started customizing of course of course outdoor catering was there but the you know covid time you know there a lot of new innovation has happened in terms of uh, safety of the customer and uh, contactless services contact you know um, as payment so so much technology came as into play yes. but ultimately human touch is required true so 
this industry is not going to be fully automated absolutely and when you walk into a hotel you want people to smile <laughs> and your physical presence right and uh, even though some technology come into play which cannot be replaced human touch right so you are in a you know the right industry in the right if you are in a right place and definitely there is a you know so you are very optimistic about the future in yes, this sector yes 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 great I'm very optimistic and uh, definitely i am sure that uh, the people who watching this show and uh, these young minds have bright future in our travel tourism hospitality and great. culinary industry if you look at simple calculation you yourself know that you know if you are earning uh, how much hour 40% of your disposable income goes for entertaining exactly. and food so which industry of course um, it's you know the people thinking process also change so definitely you have lot of scope for this industry great so this is show is viewed by two of the most uh, important people one is student themselves and the parent Fair. your final message to them sir my final message would be um the amount of information which is available in digital media sure. and then so much information available to you know everyone on whether but you as a person you are the best maybe parents can only support you to you know financially to put you in the best college but True. you as a student has to take a call are you fit for this industry of course i am not um, asking 18 year old kid to you know have all kind of um, you know experience and maturity to decide what is that career like but of course you have to decide some point of time so whether it is today or tomorrow and give your 100% whatever course you do whether it's hotel management or engineering or a medicine the focus is very important right True. and you should know that the purpose of choosing that program as long as you know the purposes and you will be able to deliver the best and rest everything will fall in place you don't need to worry about placement you don't need to worry about higher <laughs> studies everything right. will fall in fall place. place great i think uh, we and the parents um, yes please give them a freedom to choose what they want to do fantastic the only thing is that you must tell share your experience you're not today nobody wants advice today anyone <laughs> wants about you know everything is available in you know mouse click but True. parents have to just understand your ward and see that what is they would like to do and give them a free hand let them choose and they are going to experience whether it's good or bad right and we need to support them all stages of life because we as a parent learn from our mistakes and we expect our kids to know everything from day one onwards True. it's not <laughs> humanly possible great so every That's stages of life they have mentor every stages of life they're going to learn and we need to support them great fantastic sir i think uh, we covered all the aspects today which is very vital for them to take the decision with regard to their uh, course planning starting from the uh, the overview of this sector we spoke about the courses available in the ug we spoke about internships placements we spoke about skill sets required we spoke about uh, the masters program and we also analyzed about the job aspects and all these things which are very important i think one of the finest discussion i am very optimistic that uh, this session would be very useful to the parents and the students who are watching this and on behalf of all the students and uh, viewers i would extend a heartfelt thanks to chef tiru sir for sparing your time thank you so much sir thank you guru it's uh, wonderful to interact with you and uh, i'm sure that uh, all our you know students and parents would get benefit of our discussion right. thank you so much and thanks once again to daiji world thanks. few more few more episodes on its way nirantara suddhi mattu mananjake nortairi daiji world